Prosecutors call him a clever, sweet-talking Long Island lawyer who crushed the hopes of vulnerable couples in an adoption scam. Now tonight, prosecutors have unsealed a chilling indictment in the case, and CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan has this report from Mineola. Mr. Cohen, by now you must have something to say to these adoptive families, sir. But Roslyn attorney home, Kevin Cohen remained mum about his alleged adoption scam, which prosecutors say has now grown to 13 heartbroken families from five states. But there's no baby still. There's still no baby. Trying to hold back tears, Deborah Josephs of Port Washington said she and her husband, desperate to adopt, paid Cohen $65,000. It was a lot of money, don't get me wrong. But you can't put a price tag on a child. That's not what it's about. The votes of Seaford were emotional as they scanned the 69 count indictment against Cohen. They'd taken out a $22,000 loan for a baby that didn't exist. I hear my wife cry every night, you know, trying to deal with all the issues going on. I mean, the financial thing, it's going to hurt us, but it's not going to kill us. It's the emotional scars that we have to deal with. Prosecutors say Cohen duped families with fake sonograms, bogus prenatal medical reports, and phony photos of pregnant young women in college all non-existent. We were ecstatic when I saw that baby. I was in love with that baby and I felt like an idiot when I found out that it was a hoax. Cohen, now in custody under suicide watch, owns this home in Roslyn. More than $300,000 allegedly wired into his bank account from victimized couples to be held in escrow for medical costs of the fictitious births. I can't um, tell you how many times I've kissed this picture and I feel so silly now. Uh, we thought this was going to be our baby. He never delivered one baby to any of these families. Even they were led on and on and on in, a, in an evil, cold-hearted way. Kevin Cohen, who himself claims to be adopted, pleaded not guilty. Prosecutors have frozen his bank account and are seeking full restitution for the alleged victims. From Mineola, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Prosecutors say Kevin Cohen founded the adoption annex in Rosalind in 2004, but no families ever received a child. Adoption annex is now closed.